Hey everybody, and welcome to another Halloween product review. All right, I have stalled long enough. We are finally going to take a look at this air-blown inflatable here. I've been teasing you with pictures of it all, you know, over the last few weeks because I think it's going to be my favorite. I'm very excited about it. It's something that I got at the at-home store last year, 50% off clearance sales. So it retailed for $129. I got it um, actually at 75% off. And I think that comes out to be what, like 3250 or something. So what it is, is I'm not sure. I call it a haunted mansion. It looks like a spooky building structure here, um, but it has a clock tower, which is kind of strange. So to me, it's gonna be a haunted mansion. And if you watched my last video, I think we came up with a plan. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this canopy, build some walls on it, create a structure, use this as an entryway and have a little sort of pass through haunted house that the trick or treaters are gonna to have to go through to get to my front door. Now it's actually kind of um, even more relevant now because we actually signed up to host the neighborhood block party for Halloween this year. We've done it in the years past, but uh, you know, have to be new and different every year. So hopefully this is gonna up our game. Um, and I really appreciate some of your suggestions from my last video. I've already got some great ideas, and I can't wait to work through them with you. Um, but before we get started, um, like I said, I'm gonna use this on the front of the structure. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the rest of it. Um, I had a couple of ideas down. I know for sure we're probably gonna be using the tree that we saw in my last video. Um, it's super creepy and goes well with my haunted mansion right here. But then further, I don't know if I might put out some more inflatables outside the structure like the inflatable dog and the pumpkins that we saw in previous videos, that might make it a little more kid friendly, but a little more cheesy. And I'm not sure I wanna go that route. Um, I also thought about using the animated witch that we saw in the previous video too. I think she's really spooky. Um, and she has like the perfect phrase. I think it is something like, I wouldn't go in there if I were you, which if I stick her right outside the front door, or even right inside the door, um, I think she would just be it. Absolutely perfect. Inside the structure, you know, with the walls, I'm hoping it's gonna be really dark so I can finally use some of my props like my bottomless pit that's really hard to see um, if it's not really dark. Um, and also maybe some lot light um, projections. Someone had recommended that I use my spider whirl emotion effects. I actually have four of these, I think. So if we were to put them in all the corners of the room, we would have spiders going on everywhere. That could be really cool. Um, the other option might be these fire and ice bulbs. Now I haven't done a review on these. Um, I don't know in fact how well they work at all. Um, we'll be checking these out in a future video. Um, but if they work, I got a bunch of these at Home Depot on clearance last year. I think they were about $2. So I picked up as many as I possibly could. I've got a whole bag full of them. I might do a giveaway on some of these too. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. Um, but I also thought maybe we might segment the canopy into a couple of different rooms. Who knows? I look forward to hearing from you guys and your thoughts on that. Um, Cause like I said, in the last video, they were super helpful and I do appreciate them. Um, anything we can do to scare the little children. I know, uh, I know some of you guys have some great ideas on that. Anyway, let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm gonna move this table out of the way, give us some room and let's see what it looks like. Okay, I've gone ahead and cleared us some space. Now, it's a little hard to tell how much space I need. Now, the box here does say that it is nine and a half feet tall. It just conveniently leaves out all the other dimensions, so I really have no idea how wide it is. I don't think it's quite as wide as it is tall, um, and I certainly don't know how deep it is. So, we're gonna find out here in a moment. Hopefully, it's all gonna fit within the picture, or the frame of the camera. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now, this is not sealed though I didn't open it, so hopefully I didn't get a used product here. But even if I did, you know, I won't be too disappointed. It was really cheap. All right. All right. In the box, we do have some garden stakes and an extra bulb. Put those away. I did also see the instruction sheet. Throw that away. Some more tie downs. And the air blown inflatable base that we've seen several times now. Just pop the legs open. 
I don't know which way is forward. We'll find out here in a moment. But let's go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. All right. Pretty sure I have it backwards already. There we go. Here we can see it in the frame. Now, noticing a few things offhand, it looks like the lighting is a little strange. For instance, if we take a closer look, we do have a ghost here that's lit up, but not over here. We have a light here that's lit up, but not over here. Grim Reaper is not lit up. Neither is this ghost and jack o' lantern down here. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be, so I'll have to look at the instructions actually and find out. Hopefully, it's an easy fix. Just take a look. Backside is not anything special, but you can clearly see that one of the columns is lit up far more than the other. It's the clock. It's always midnight. All right, what do you think? You know, I really think this was a prop that was returned last year. That's probably why I was able to get it at the 75% off mark. I think somebody used it, or maybe they opened it and found it was defective and returned it. Um, but regardless, I opened it up a little bit and I can see the wiring. Uh, there should be a whole section over here that lights up. Um, I didn't see anything going up to this ghost, which was a little strange. But also the clock tower here is supposed to light up. So I'm going to try and change some bulbs at a future date. Hopefully that'll get it to work. Um, if not, it's not that big of a deal, I suppose, because I do want it to be extra dark inside. So too much light is not really necessary. But, you know, I'm a little disappointed. I should have checked the prop last year when I first purchased it. Um, but can't do anything about that now. Only thing I could do is maybe swap it out for some other different facade. Um, this facade is great. It doesn't quite cover the width of the canopy. The canopy is, well, this is supposed to be, oh, nine and a half feet tall. Um, I don't know how wide it is still, but judging by the canopy, one, two, and the tiles, three, this is probably about seven feet wide. So, you know, it's okay. What do you think? Let me know. Um, and I'd love to hear your suggestions about what to do on the inside. <laughs> so, you know, follow me along. We'll, we will figure this out together. This is just one small setback, but we are going to forge ahead and make this great. I look forward to seeing you then. Happy haunting, everybody. Take care.